Hey guys, <clears throat> my name is Trudy Healy and this is your weekly reading for Beacons of Angel Light beginning the week of October 24th, 2016. So I'm posting a day late, sorry, <laughs> um, but I'm using Doreen Virtues and Raleigh Valentine's Angel Tarot. And so I'm going to shuffle live with you guys. Um, I wanted to talk about the energies that we're facing this week. Um, things are picking up the pace and so I want you to all be mindful of you know the things the occurrences inside of our minds because that's what's going to unfold before our eyes um, and it's going to start this week so I want to give you the tools on how to manifest um, our realities are based on our thoughts and our decisions are based on our thoughts so if our thoughts are derived of a fear we'll make decisions to prevent that fear from unfolding um, and they're not coming from a harmonious place they're coming from a fearful place so I want to give you that like that's just an example so you have to think of you know you want to see let's say you want to see yourself having more abundance in regards with finances you know, um, you don't necessarily have to be fearful of how you're manifesting it. You're going to be coming from a loving place and thinking, like, visualizing yourself enjoying the comforts that you want to enjoy. Like, if you wanted a new sofa, feel yourself sitting on the sofa, the fabric, the color, the smell of it. Um, you know, it, visualize yourself sitting on it, enjoying the TV. You know, I'm just giving you an example, but... Um, so for this week, I'm going to clear the cards really quick and if you guys are getting into angel card reading, what I like to do is just clear the energies. So I go whoosh, 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 and in my mind I'm thinking, um, you know, like with the computer how you do control, alt, delete um, kind of deal to clear the energy. So now what I'm going to do is separate the archangels from the angels, <laughs> the angel cards. Um, and I'm shuffling here. So basically what's going to happen is, see this card is sticking out. So that's one for us. And that's going to be, we're going to do it the way that Doreen Virtue likes to do. So I'm going to do one for Monday, Tuesday. This is Wednesday, Thursday. And then we're going to have a weekend card. We got two of them. Two weekend cards. So that's for the week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we have an angel that wants to work with us, so I that's why I separate them. Oh, we have two angels that want to work with us. So, let's see what we got here, because I shuffled them all face down um, so that I can't see what we got. And this applies for me too, so um, let's see, the first one that we got is the Queen of Fire. She's a confident and this could be for the fellas out there that are watching too. Very confident, um, intelligent, and graceful, um, warm type of person, loving, nurturing. Um, and so we're being encouraged to stretch our wings and fly. I was just talking about this yesterday. Like we haven't given ourselves the opportunity to truly give it our all ever. Like we've left things half done or we only gave it half effort because we were so busy. Not because we didn't want to, but just because, and now is the time. So now is the time to really fly and soar high. Um, and then we got the nine of earth and this is... Well, this is enjoying life's little luxuries. You know, we're being so focused on the material aspect of things that we miss out on these beautiful, you know, um, like right now I have a, you guys can't see it, but there's a butterfly flying in front of me and it's like I'm giving you the right message and that's, there's another one. Yeah, so, you know, it's um, just being able to tune in with the magical side of life with the mundane things and just appreciating the smaller things in life um, and this is also about the entrepreneurship there's a lot of you guys um, going into business for yourself and this is going to be good it's going to be fruitful um, also enjoying time alone because your own spiritual evolution depends heavily on your uninterrupted thoughts 
you know so when you spend time alone you're separating yourself from the noise and the debris of society and you know everybody else's viewpoints and it's just source from inside you so that's very important um, then we got the ten of fire and I keep telling this to people you know we're working really hard which is a good thing I'm not saying stop but I am saying make time to you know give time to those that you love make time to make memories there's always time to make money but there there isn't always time to make memories so make a conscious effort the time is here and now um, you have to have a balance um, and then if you don't, because there's some of you who are like truly workhorses, for those of you who choose not to, you're going to be facing health concerns if you haven't already started. And those will manifest, you know, like the things that have already started are going to get worse or, or you'll start having, you know, health concerns due to not making time for yourself and only dedicating yourself to, you know, all of the three-dimensional grid stuff. Got to make time to tune in and spend outside, spend that time outside. I, I keep telling people, <clears throat> excuse me, meditation is excellent um, on the sofa, in the car while you're driving, on your bed, on the floor, inside your house, but there is nothing like going outside whether it's day or night, just get outside and do it. It's so much better. Um, especially if you go and do it somewhere where there's no, um, you know, noise pollution, like cars and stuff like that. Like, it's okay if there's children playing, even that, it's a distraction. And so that's why I was saying the noise pollution, because it will also infect your thought process. Um, so the ten of the earth and we we're just talking about children this is happy family life this is good communication between the generations this is happy times this is a uh, flow of ideas and um, financial security stability and enjoying the magical little moments um, I don't know. I have lots of them with my daughter. <laughs> you know, kids say the darndest things. They're so cute. Um, so then, the, that was for the that was the weekend cards, by the way. I'm not used to separating them that way. So if you kept track in your mind, um, the first one was for Monday. The second one was for Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday. The first one, second one was Wednesday, Thursday, and then the last two were for the weekend. Now the angels that we got to work with. Oh, it's so funny, Archangel Jophiel, big time. And Archangel Michael always wants to work with us, but Archangel Jophiel came up as ego. So she wants us to realize that we're all wearing a mask in this life. And, you know, and to abandon the lower vibrations, it's really hard, and that's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Things are manifesting before us, and we need to let go of the fear anger and sadness based thoughts those are inhibiting us from our ascension so she wants to help us in manifesting what's truly in our highest good so ego um, basically the card the way that it says it is a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear based thoughts so she wants to help eradicate that um, and then she comes up again as the star. And this is also going hand in hand with, with what we were talking about, the manifestation of things. Um, happy times, making a positive, optimistic change, long-term plans, being on the right path. And, and for me, the star is like, you know how like children always say, um, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might make the wish I wish tonight, or something to that effect. So that's kind of like how I see this card. You know, make a wish. Think about that. Feel yourself enjoying the wish. You know, smell it, see it, feel it, hear it, taste it, whatever it is that you can do that. Get yourself a visual aid so that every time you see it and you put it there somewhere where you're like constantly looking at, you know, by the TV or by the fridge or by the door, somewhere that you're going to visually see it so that it's a reminder to for you to manifest it again. Ask everybody in the house to help you out with the manifestation of it and tell them about involving the senses in the manifestation because this is, this is how it works, guys. You know, I'm trying to share with you guys, but it really does, you know, 
Um, my sister, for instance, she had lost her uh, driver's license, and she did not, for the life of her, want to set foot inside of the DMV to go get the replacement one, and she didn't want to order it online, da 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 And the funniest thing happened about two weeks later, one of my ex-co-workers from like two years prior hits me up on Facebook, and he's like, um, isn't your sister, I'm not going to mention her name, but the whole thing is they... They gave me back her ID and they gave it back to my sister and she had it in her hand. So then a matter of, you know, just two weeks, 14 days, <laughs> you know, small things, big things, whatever you want to manifest, it's all up to you. It's in your beautiful mind. So I hope that that helps you for this week. Have a wonderful week and thank you so very much for tuning in. Don't forget to click subscribe and share with your friends and just keep your thoughts in the light, guys. Mwah! I love you all.